It's not Zika, you guys are good, yeah? It's been six. Ready. All right, five, four, three, two, one, go. Good luck. I cannot wait to see how this thing goes. Imagine Love they bro. draw, it's like a sapper that kills them both. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, we have the curse go. of tongues coming out. We have the corruption to follow. Snuts doing what he does best and running away with that positioning. Zico has to chase him down in a super long duel. The, the warlock is going to get more and more and more and more value. And Zico knows this. I wonder if Zico is going to go for a pet kill strategy or if he's just going to try to just kill Snuts and a burn strategy. Fireball's being casted with, with uh, the Curse of Tongues. It's a long cast time for not much damage. Arcane Explosion's coming out and Kona Cold's the pet. Already to half HP and Snuts popping that Resto Pot, which does share cooldown with other valuable potions. A big Resto Pot right there. Trying to uh, trying to stop everything. Curses, everything, the whole nine yards. Curse magic, everything. Uh, it's going to be huge. It's going to be huge in this duel. So hopefully it pans out. You know, go in the decision to use that instead of using uh, like a health or a mana pot. Yeah, there's the uh, Goblin Rocket Helm from Zico. Zico's looking great so far. Still two blocks, plenty of consumables, flasks, teas, but so does Snuts. There's the Death Coil, no block or reflect on it, but there's still time. Ice block on the Fear. Snuts knows he has to get it done that way. There's another Thorium Nade. It lands on the Pet and the Snuts. The Pet goes down. That's Pet number one, Snuts. Uh, sleeping Zico with the Magic Dust, fell doming the second Pet. Huge sleep, huge sleep. It allowed him to be able to cast the pet without worrying about a counter spell. So let's see, Zico is probably going to try and separate, and maybe he's going to try and kill this pet right here. I'm thinking Z Zico goes for two pet kills, and if Snuts isn't careful, that second pet will go down, and then the mage will have, uh, you know, a chance in this. And that's exactly what we were talking about. If both pets die, the warlock is a lot weaker. It's just hard sometimes to kill that second pet. Zico, if there's going to be someone to do it, it's going to be him. Another rank one frostbolt lands. Snuts trying to devour those buffs off of him with the pet dispel. Zico getting the remove curse on himself as well. Health and mana have been pretty much equalized. Zico has one block remaining. Snuts, no Feldom left. There are tons of consumables though from both ends and Snuts just playing the max distance game like an absolute legend. Not letting Zico bridge the gap here. Keeping him dotted up with one or two dots will do all the work Snuts needs. He does not need to overextend here. Yeah, I mean, this is, uh, I mean, this is like two, two gladiators going at it, man. These guys... They're oh, shouting, it's beautiful, dude. They're doing the dance. They're going back and forth. Perfect kiting. Snuff taking the pet in and out. This is a, this is a master class, man, on both ends. That is fake from Snuts there on the counter spell. The blanket might have oh, resisted. Boy. Snuts being able to successfully cast that fear. Although, Zico is going out of the dual range. I wonder if he's going to make it back in. It's He's so far out. It looks like he will make it back in. Polymorph being casted. Drain mana from Snuts. And this is not what you want to see from the side of Zico. Snuts, full health, full mana. Zico on the run. There's the mana jam, the cold snap. One ice block remaining. Zico definitely on the back foot right now. Fell Hunter in hot pursuit. Ice barrier up. Snuts pushing his advantage. The Fell Hunter devours a spell. Unfortunately, not the Ice Barrier, but the Ice Barrier breaks anyway. So much damage from Snuts. Second Resto Pot used here. It's going to dispel a magic uh, ability every five seconds. Grabs the Nova. It's really well played from Snuts. The Spell Lock comes in. It acts as a blanket silence there on Zico for three seconds. The Drain Mana is ticking Zico lower and lower. And the last and final defensive cooldown from Zico has been used. That's the second Ice Block. Keep in mind, none of these guys, neither of these guys have lost a duel in the entire tournament. They're undefeated today, obviously, but also in the qualifiers, they have not lost a single match. So this is huge, absolutely huge. One of the things that makes this matchup so difficult for Zico is not the so tanky as he Well, it didn't work. GG's. I almost had him. Yo, that was insane. Well played, Zico. Well played. Yo, GG's. GG's. Yo, GG's, boys. What the fuck? All sevens for Zico. All sevens, boys. We join our brothers here on the battlefield. Well, Snuts can finally afford furniture. I need furniture. I just bought a house. <laughs> Damn, bro. Very good run. Very good run. And that's that's if we're gonna go out somebody it's uh it's nuts. It's nuts is the man to go out to. We used all our towels, we used all our gems, used all my off hands, swapped all my trinkets. 
tough matchup. Tough matchup, and uh, he's the best, uh, you know, at playing Warlock, so it makes it even tougher. Uh, I'm I'm all right, bro. I'm all right. I I, uh, I tried my best. It's not. He's too good. Hard matchup, and uh, yeah, he played it well. Made a few mistakes, and uh, you can't make any mistakes in that matchup. So he ended up getting the win. For sure. Well, for what it's worth, the past couple of days have been the highest mage level gameplay I've ever seen in Classic WoW. So you should be proud of yourself, man. You've been grinding this whole month. I mean, today was was a big day, obviously, for you, but you've been killing it all month, man. Your streams every day, you're grinding every day. Super proud of you. And um, yeah, man, regardless of what happens, I think you can see in your chat the community supports you so much. You, you know, you've, you've been insane this, this whole month, bro. Um, is it cool if, if I drag you down to the you guys course, want to have one course. more word with you? Of course. And, right. and thank you for the words, tips, bro. I love you. You too, man. Happy to be All right, here we go. <laughs> I think we might also have a few questions here for Zico, but before we hop into that, I just want to say uh, congrats to Zico for becoming that top ranked mage player and second in the tournament. Zico, um, I don't know if you can hear me from uh, from the yeah. desk. If not, we'll have to go back to Ez. Oh, you can. Yes, sir. Oh, Ezfan might go talk to you there in person. <laughs> He's going <laughs> so to. <laughs> oh, that's great. Uh, if you can hear me, Zico, we're gonna shoot over to Ezfan for a quick interview. Oh, yeah. oh, absolutely. Oh, no. Zico, I, uh, yeah. how, how are you feeling down there? Well, you remember how we were talking about how it's too hot? Uh, that's definitely not the case anymore. It's kind of cold down here, bro. Oh, yeah, I can see that. I can see that. You, and look, you played phenomenal all day, bringing it all the way to the last second. I think the sun is going down. I think that's why you're feeling a little cold. <laughs> I'm feeling a little cold, too. My feet are kind of getting cold here, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> to put them in the sand. Maybe, maybe that'll help a little bit. So, uh, look, uh, hey, unbelievable job. I know it sucks that, you know, it, losing never feels good, but you still go home with $6,250, which is amazing. Yep. That's that's still a lot of money. It may not be the 50K, but it's still a whole lot of money. You you competed at a super high level for the entirety of the tournament, and uh, you should be really, really proud of that. Thank you. Thank you so much uh, for those words. That's fun. I appreciate that. And. Uh, I feel like I had I had a pretty good run. Uh, made a couple of mistakes in the in the last match, and uh, you know when you fight somebody as good as Snuts and and you're playing uh, you know against a, a kind of a counter matchup as well, you can't afford to make a single mistake. Uh, so yeah, fair play to Snuts. Uh, congrats on the win to him, and uh, um, just massive thank you as well for uh, to you and Czar for the incredible casting to Soda. You know I guess he was okay too. And uh, yeah, just uh, in general, the OTK gang and all the admins and everyone just for putting this on. It's been a, an absolute blast uh, to to be doing uh, uh, this event with you guys. So thank you so much. Thanks, dude. I, I really appreciate it. And, and I, I said this earlier too, but but I'm appreciative of you guys, right? Like the, the tournament is, is, is great. Everybody's done, everybody's done great, right? But we have the best players in the world, the best players in, in the history of WoW competing in this. So. Uh, it's it, it helps a lot when you guys are the ones showing up and, and putting on for the tournament. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, the, it, the competition made it really funny and uh, exciting to be here. And, uh, you know, uh, there's a lot of people, you know, it's always bittersweet uh, when, you, when you make it, you know, all the way to, the, to that last finish line. But uh, there was a lot of great players in this tournament. Uh, and uh, yeah, it, was, it was fun to just be a part of that. So, uh, you know, shout out to all the, the competitors for uh, putting in the work. And it was fun, you know, this was really a unique event because, um, you know, first of all, it's hardcore. So it was always like a little risky going into groups and, and doing things like that. And uh, also working as a team with the people that you're going to be facing was it was really a unique experience. So I, I really loved uh, this event. Yeah, man. Well, you, hey, look, you absolutely killed it. Are we going to see you at BlizzCon? Uh, sadly, no, I, I can't make it uh, this year. I would have loved to, but uh, uh, next year, hopefully, I'll, I'll be there. Okay. Well, hey, well, we'll see you next year then. But uh, but until then, thanks a ton for joining us, man. And uh, we're going to head back to Zaryu in the studio. It's been wild, boys. It's been wild. This has really been the the most unique event I, I ever competed in. So, yo, 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 this is our boy, dude. Thank you, Crop, uh, for uh, for you know just being a, a good friend and uh, everything you've done, man. I appreciate that, dude. Uh, he helped me a lot with <laughs> with uh, with the prep and uh, just thinking about strats, thinking about items I should go for and stuff like that. He 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 really was you know it really was a team effort and uh, also uh, just a shout out to my family too because they've been they've been supporting me a lot. Uh, he said, "Rest in Brilhala, brother." 
uh, yeah, that's that's where we are now in Brilhala. I'm kind of sad, bro, because I'm sad about losing the 50k. But is it weird? I'm more sad about losing my character, bro. This character, it was so good, man. I did so like look at all these rare items that we farmed, man. We had everything, dude. We had we this this mage was blessed, dude. This mage really was blessed. <laughs> I'm almost more sad about losing the mage than the money, dude. <laughs> we'll transfer it to Era. Uh, at least it wasn't all for nothing. We collected five ears. We collected some high value ears as well. We collected some really high value ears. Sony, Sidu, I mean, Bean. There was a lot of good ears here added to the collection. So <laughs> you can't be too bad about it, dude. Uh, but yeah, pretty sad that I lost. And uh, I guess I'm going to go and cry myself to sleep now. Uh, thank you guys so much uh, for being here. Thank you for watching. Thank you guys so much. I know I missed a lot of subs and I didn't call you guys out, but I see you. Uh, you guys are amazing. Have a great night and I'll see you guys in like one or two days. Good night. Peace.